So why is it that you think that someone should hire a podcast producer? Um, so, you know, podcasting, the way it was marketed initially, uh, at least in India, uh, we were told that it's such a friendly, democratic medium. Everyone can do it. Anyone can do it. And the first person who should be listening to your podcast who could give you feedback are your close ones, your loved ones. But the thing is that your loved ones don't always understand the medium. They won't always understand the subject matter that you're talking about. They don't have expertise there. And another controversial opinion right here that a lot of times they might just not be invested in you in that way, right? And so hiring a podcast producer becomes very clean. It becomes a cleaner process for you where, um, you know, the producer is being paid to provide a service where they keep you in check, A, where they can give you enough feedback. They can do secondary research or primary research for you. Um, they can coordinate guests for you. Uh, they can help you edit or they can get it edited from someone if they have a team. If, you know, if if an individual podcaster decides to hire a team, uh, they will also help um, with the distribution side of things because it's a constant, uh, you know, it's a constant partnership with your distributors. You You can't just leave your episode there. You have to market it. You have to talk about it. You have to talk to different kinds of distribution channels. And your podcast producer would be invested uh, in your content more than they would be probably invested in you and your personal relationship with them. And so, therefore, it just falls in line, right? Because on podcasts, content is king. It's so true. And, you know, something that you said that really struck me is you had mentioned that the podcast producer, because you're paying them, they are invested in you. And it's yeah. kind of like how if you go to the gym, let's say, and you decide, all right, I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to get fit. I'm going to work out. And you go into it and you have, let's let's say you find an accountability buddy, someone who's going to say, you know, come with me. We're going to keep working out. We're going to keep getting thin. Well, and then what happens? Eventually, they stop coming with you. They stop checking in. They stop asking how much weight you've lost. But a personal trainer, someone that you've paid, they're going to be checking in with you because they know if you're not getting the results that you want, what are you going to do? You're going to fire them. And so, yeah. yes, exactly. And so I think that I think the idea of having a podcast producer, it's actually really brilliant because like you said, if you're getting paid to do it, you're going to be actually keeping them top of mind rather than letting yeah. them fail. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it's a part of uh, their performance as well, right? It becomes a part of your podcast and becomes a part of their portfolio as well, where they, uh, you know, say that, oh, I, I produce this podcast and this podcast is this successful. It has these many listens. It has these kind of guests. So they would also be proud to, you know, sort of um, own the property along with you. Absolutely. I mean, that makes perfect sense because if someone's actually, if someone's there and they care about it, they're going to do everything they can to help you be successful because yeah. there's your success becomes their success yeah. and their success becomes your success. And the more, that, the more that you can show that you have downloads that are coming in, you have, you know, new listeners that are coming in, then that becomes your piece that you can say, Hey, I'm a podcast producer. I helped this guy become successful. Here's what I can do for you. 